why do I have to have an F6 to create a keyframe? You guys probably understand what I'm talking about. So we want to simplify this. So you notice I just created a very simple uh, object on stage. Um, the model now is object-based. So let me see if I can select some stuff. If I just right-click on any object, you notice that I can now create a motion screen on the object itself. It's going to ask me, it's going to actually tell me that I've got to create a symbol, so I don't have to necessarily know about this. Um, I can create it. Now if I want to create the animation, uh, before I'd have to go to, the, to one of the frames, hit F6, or create a keyframe. Notice what I can do now is I can just grab the edge of that of the uh, frame, and that creates a span for the animation. Um, I just move it, and there it is. Uh, just very, very simple. You notice that along with it, I get a path. So I get to see kind of what the path is. The path is a complete bez is a, a proper Bezier path. So um, if I want to curve it, I can control it. Um, if you want to adjust it at any at any one point, I can just go in here and grab the object and move it. And so you can see I have, I have a lot of control um, over the actual symbol. Every every attribute and every property is now um, animated in its own timeline, technically. So for example, if you do a transformation, a scale, an alpha, uh, anything has, every attribute property is, t is uh, controlled by its own independent keyframes. So by hitting a, by basically what we're doing is auto keyframing now. Um, but you have a lot of control over each one of the properties. Another thing that's nice about this model is that, if you notice what I did here, I created a simple tween, but it only went halfway across the screen. Let's say someone gives you an animation, but you now need to extend it. Um, how do you do that? Well, because everything's a control through a Bezier path, for example, I can transform an entire plane. All right, so there's now my plane going across the stage. If I need to move the whole thing, I just have to select it. I can move the whole animation up and down. No problem doing that. If you need to shorten it, for example, right now it's at 30 frames. If I need to shorten that animation, all I need to do is grab the edge of the, end of the edge of the span. I can make it now 15. It's shorter. If I even want to make it shorter, and here's I'm going to show you one of the features that we haven't really talked about too much. If I make it 10, um, notice what happens right there. There's a there's a break, and the reason what happens is that because I created a lot of keyframes by shortening the span, the keyframe landed in an awkward state. It's it's actually between frames. So because you can't do a ca actual between 30 to 10 and keep the frames in the right place, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of messed up because it's trying to keep everything on a frame. So one of the things that we can do is we now have the ability to say, okay, you need to move, we need to switch to roving keyframes. So this is actually going to keep track of frames in time, not in frames. And now this, now this actually, let me do the other way. Switch keyframes to roving. Let me select all of them. There we go. All right. And it's not working with this belt. All right. There you go. That's what happens for showing you. Actually, let me show you another, another thing real quick here. You can now view keyframes, remember I said by, by property. So this is an early this is an early view. We're not sure exactly how we're going to um, show this. But you notice I can show position keyframes. I could also tell it to show me uh, rotation or skew frames. I didn't do any rotation or anything to them, but we're going to allow you to show keyframes individually for every one of the properties. So that's just kind of the beginning of uh, some of the things that we're doing for the animation model. It's going to make it a lot more powerful. It also make it a lot easier to control. Uh, notice that uh, one of the things I like to do is when you do an animation, any transformation, I can tweak, I can rotate the animation as well. So you can see we have a lot of power in, in this model.